is there any functional advantage to having a cupola on a building? Let's talk a little bit, a little bit about cupolas. Uh, functional, I'd say generally no. Some people do use them for ventilation purposes, but generally they're for aesthetics. And, and for the most part, yes. And, and I, I will admit to being a, a proud cupola owner yep. on, on the roof of our shop house in uh, South Dakota. Yep. And we, we have a fairly large building. It's 44 feet from grade to the peak of the roof. And we have a four foot square cupola up on the peak of the roof. Now, we do not use the cupola for ventilation. We have glass on all four sides of ours. Okay. And uh, we had it wired up so that we have six different color lights in our cupola. Yeah. So depending upon the season or what's going on, my, my wife can go flip the switch and yeah. change it from red to green to blue to orange sure. uh, to just plain white. Uh, our local football team is the Sisseton Redmen, so football season, the red light right. goes Comes on. on. Uh, it, it, it's something that's fun for her and it's... It's really the, the only foo foo -y thing that we right. really did on our building. Um, yes, they can be functional vents. And to do so, you end up with a, a cutout in the peak of your mm -hmm. roof that allows air to flow through. And as opposed to having glass, you can have screened louvers in the yep. sides of it. And you can get a fair amount of airflow sure. out of that. So it does make a functional exhaust point. Now, I, I will encourage anyone who is considering a, a cupola and in our case we sell a, a prefabricated unit yep. that is is put together on site but they make a universal base for these that can be on on slopes i think up to six seven, it's six like or six seven, or seven yep, yeah something like that so a fairly steep slope uh, the one on on our building 612 sure no 612 yep. works for that and this makes the installation so quick. Yeah. Basically, you plop that base down on the yeah. roof, screw it down with closures under the downhill edge, and you plop the top that you've assembled right. on top of it, and you're away from there. Otherwise, if you don't have that, there is a flashing kit that comes with it, and it involves assembly of, uh, I think it's eight pieces on a rooftop. Yeah, difficult. You know, it, yeah, difficult, it takes time. Time consuming, and the the amount of of you know savings right. to me, it's well it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah, I've put one together in my life uh, on actually on one of my storage buildings that I was talking about earlier, and it was super quick. I was actually pretty surprised. We actually have on our our YouTube YouTube channel, uh, we do have a video of that cupola going together. Uh, that one's a twenty four inch one, just a basic one, but. It was actually much quicker than I expected before I got into it. Yeah, and uh, you know, if if you're considering one or more cupolas for your building, there there is a blog article that I have written on cupolas and how many you should have and what size they should mm -hmm. be. And I have I have tempered the manufacturer's recommendations a little bit because sure. obviously they're in the business of selling. They're going to upsell, right? Yeah, but they they would like your sixty foot long building to yeah, be covered. Buy them. Oh yeah, yeah. cover it all with cupolas. Yeah. So uh, and yeah, if you get a, get an opportunity, you can go to the Hanson Pole Buildings website. And in the upper right hand corner of the website is a place search that says box. search. Okay and just type in cupola, C-U-P-O-L-A, and hit the enter, and it'll bring up articles that pertain right. to that, and you know, gives you an idea as to what sizes and quantities might be fitting for the yeah. building you're doing.